This movie has so much potential. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Sisters. Sisters is directed by Jason Moore, and if you're not too familiar with his work, he surprised everyone with that great movie, Pitch Perfect, that came out in 2012. I mean, oh my gosh. When that first movie was advertised, I didn't want to see that crap. I mean, that's what I said. But I remember I was in the barbershop one day, and a guy came in, and we was all talking about movies. He was like, y'all, have you seen Pitch Perfect? Everyone's like, no. He's like, do not sleep on that movie. That movie is amazing. And I didn't catch it in the theaters. I caught it on HBO or cable or one of my channels, and I was just blown away. I love that movie to death. It was like a 9.75 or 10, like a perfect movie for me. I love that movie. But then he comes out with this. And I don't know what happened. I love Tina Fey and Amy Poehler is okay, but they team up a lot. So I thought it would be a split down the middle, but I didn't care for neither one of their characters in this film. Yes, they were funny and had some jokes that did make me laugh, but their characters were completely over the top and the story, yeah, there was no story. It was just non-existent. So the premise of this film is sisters and they just want to have a last bash party before their parents move out of their childhood home. And there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, when you're in your mid forties, pushing on fifties and you're trying to party like you're 17 or 21, I don't know if that works too well. Frankly, it doesn't work too well because this movie wasn't funny at all. I mean, it was, but it didn't flow into the story. It was just a bunch of random jokes that were just splattered all over the place and like a blind man just throwing darts and if it hit it hit and if it didn't it didn't and they didn't hit a lot in this film i did not care for the story at all i did not care for the characters at all they're just acting way too immature for their age i mean they're acting like they're 19 20 21 years old at spring break and tina fey's character she's just obsessed with raising up her shirt and showing her breast off for some apparent reason I mean, why are you doing this? Why are you so overly desperate? You don't have to do that. You know, they didn't write your character as if you're just Miss Lonely Pants and you can't get a date. So there's no reason for you to be so forward and throwing yourself. I mean, it was just a blatant turnoff. And then the way they did that try to flirt with men or the way they was just trying to talk to men. I mean, it was just completely unnecessary and awkward. Hey, uh, I just want to, uh, you know, hey, uh, we're going to have a party. Uh, it just didn't work and it wasn't funny and they were just trying too hard. And I didn't like that at all. Now, I will say while they were acting immature, some of the other characters in the film did try to address that. But I still can't give it a pass. Yes, the mother and father just was asking, okay, why are you acting like this? Yes, Tina Fey's daughter was just saying, hey, why is my mom so immature? Why do I have to be the responsible one and I'm the teenager? But that still doesn't give it an excuse for their characters. And I just can't buy into it. I did not like them. I did not like seeing them on screen. And since they're the two main actresses in the film, it diluted the whole thing. And that's really unfortunate because the way things started off, I thought this movie was going to be freaking hilarious. When we first met Amy Poehler's character, she was funny. She was extremely nice, but so intrusive invading people's space, but it was funny. But five seconds later, the film just took a hard left turn and never came back and just drove off of a cliff with no seatbelt head first. So overall guys, I did not care about the story at all. I did not care about the characters. Half of the jokes worked, the other half of the jokes didn't work. I mean, if they say random things that may connect with each other, yeah, those things are kind of funny. But for the most part, I was just kind of sitting there just kind of like, huh, you know, when is the movie going to be over? If I had to rate Sisters out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 4 out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion. Just because I didn't think it was funny doesn't mean that you won't think it's funny. Because there was a lot of people in the theater that I saw this in, and they were laughing their asses off. I just wasn't one of them. So do you want to see Sisters? Have you already seen it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, that's fine. Just let me know in the comment section below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Give me that thumbs up, leave a comment below, 
subscribe to the YouTube channel. Head over to my site, find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video. So thank you for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.